hi guys you're welcome back to my channel welcome back to blessing maurice tv you are welcome today i'm going to teach you how to smoke catfish how to wash clean and smoke catfish make it very tasty today we are going to visit my fish farm today yes i have a very big fish farm here is my fish farm we are going to smoke catfish today you will learn how to wash catfish and smoke them we are going to get the fish from this particular pond now as you can see we are reducing the water we have reduced the water so we can easily bring out the fish we are going to smoke about 80 pieces of fish today yes we'll be smoking about 80 to 85 pieces of fish yes we are currently out of fish yes we have sold all these fish we are seeing here maybe in the next four to five months we will we, we will be able to you know get this size again right now we have we still have small small sizes like fingerlings and juvenile but when, when when we feed them for about five months to six months we will get uh, all this size back again before then we are going to weigh the fishes to know their kilogram you know to know how many kilogram they are weighing we have about four fishes here and it will be weighing maybe, let's just say six kilogram yes six kilos guys please if you are joining me for the first time subscribe and click on the notification bell now to get the fish very clean i have a special way of cleaning my fish to make them settle down so I can clean them, I have to pour salt on them to make them unconscious. Because you can't clean a fish while it's still alive. And I don't like killing my fish without washing it properly. No. I have to pour salt on them to make them unconscious. To allow me wash them. They are not dead now. You know? I am trying to get them calm to enable me clean them. <laughs> if not they are going to we are going to fight though as you can see they are unconscious right now and i will start cleaning once you pour once you pour this fish salt hmm, you will see all the nyama nyama coming out from them fish stays in the water for almost uh, 300 days you know some there are some fish you put in the pond for one year yes some stay like hundreds of years uh, days in the pond and when they get out it needs to be properly cleaned before eating them you know so i pour salt on mine to get all those nyama nyama out of them as you can see look at what is coming out from this fish right now look at what is coming out from them very slimy remember i poured salt on them to make them unconscious those fish you are seeing right now is not dead so i transfer them into another bowl pour fresh water on them i am going to wash this fish about five to f uh, six times to get it properly washed just look at what is coming out from the fishes once you pour them salt it dissolves all the dirty whatever they did inside the water whatever they have eaten all everything it will just uh flush out the so uh, salt will bring everything out as you can see so after transferring it to uh, another bowl i wash it like five times can you see the fish is very neat right now is no more slimy at all very neat no more slimy once a fish is still slimy it means that it's still dirty your fish don't supposed to be slimy at all while eating it or before you start roasting them or smoking them you understand so you are going to wash it properly as you can see it's very neat not slimy at all remember these fish are not dead they are unconscious because i poured salt on them yes i have to pour them salt to be unconscious so they will keep quiet and allow me wash them in peace <laughs> if not you will see fighting they won't even let you touch them not to talk of washing them very neat so this is the way i wash my fish and guys after washing this fish with salt oh you need to see how it tastes remember i poured i pour salt in every water that i'm using to wash them like right now i have washed this fish like five times today 
and I pour salt in each water. You remember? So to make the fish very tasty. If you test my fish here, eh? hmm. Time to cut the fish. Time to cut them. Right now, I am cutting them into pieces. I like cutting my fish big, big old. Because once you start smoking, it will shrink and reduce in size. You understand? So I, I make it big. So after smoking, it will be at least it will still be big enough. You understand? Please, guys, subscribe. Subscribe if you are new to my channel. Now it's time to bring out all the nyama nyama. I bring everything that is not necessary inside this fish. Remember, I'm still putting salt inside each water that I'm putting this fish. Oh. So to make this uh, fish very tasty, you don't just bring your catfish and cut them, put them inside the fire. No, it will not be tasty at all. I am bringing out all the unnecessary things inside this fish, as you can see. Now, remember, I have, I have to tell you guys this. There is something inside this fish head. Or this thing that uh, is inside that used to be inside chicken. Once you mistakenly cut them, every chicken will be bitter. It's also in catfish. Yes, we also have them in catfish. So when you are washing, uh, cutting them and removing all the intestines, please be careful with that thing so you will not make mistake and open it. Once you don't cut it well, all the fish head, even including all the fish, will be very very bitter. So remove that particular thing. Is uh, located in the head of the fish if you put your hand there just bring it out because if you mistakenly cut it the fish will be very bitter you know what i'm talking about you we used to find it uh, find it in chickens too so i'm bringing out all the nyama nyama inside this fish oh all the thing that uh, the fish eats since how many how many months so all the unnecessary things needs to be removed you know time to smoke the fish i am using local charcoal to smoke this fish you know i am not using oven i am using charcoal to smoke my fish to make it even more tastier i want it to taste so natural i am using charcoal ah guys you need to pity me oh if you see the kind of heat coming out from this place after uh, smoking my fish eh, i will just change color <laughs> Ah, uh, guys, I am smoking them right now with uh, charcoal. Yes, I'm making a video. That's why I need a helper to help me put the fish. I see the head. I put the head separately. I'm going to roast the uh, smoke them separately. You understand? So these are the fish on fire, getting ready. And you need to turn them. You know, flip them, flip them uh, constantly. So they are not going to burn, get burned. And you need to reduce your fire at some point. Now the fish are, are ready. You know, I these fish, I, I smoke them about 30 minutes to one hour. Yes, they are not properly, uh, properly dried. So I hate sun drying my fish. I don't sun dry my fish at all. You know, some people will just bring it out like this and go and sun dry it. Yes, look at my yam. I'm roasting my yam as well. Yes, now nah. picking must chop. You know, if you are working, you need to eat too to get strength to continue working. <laughs> so, guys, um, I, as I was saying, I don't sun dry my fish. I will bring it back to the farm tomorrow and continue from where I stop. I will, you know, smoke it. I will heat it, reheat it like uh, about twenty minutes to make it pro properly dry. If I sun dry it after once fly descend on it it will turn to maggots like it will accumulate maggots on them that is why i don't sun dry my fish i hope you get it if you sun dry it once fly descend on it that is why uh, where it will start de developing uh, maggots so i don't i hate seeing maggots in my fish that is why i don't sun dry them i hide it from the from uh, outside so that uh, maggots or flies will not touch it because once fly touch it it will start developing maggots even without a uh, uh, spoiling safe so guys thank you so much for joining me in my farm today 
thank you so much guys please subscribe click on the notification bell to enable you get notifications whenever i drop a post bye guys see you in my next video